I'm not alone, my friends. Oh, no. His smoking guns are hot to the touch. It's John Hopwood. I thought you were going to change my theme song. What did you want to change it to? I can't remember. I think you're T-Pain. I'm in love with the stripper. Oh, right. Well, I think, though, you know, because we like to keep this uh, program uh, at all times in good taste, I think we would probably play the alternate version, which is I'm in love with a dancer. I don't know if you're aware of that, but there is an alternate version. Ah. Uh, now, that ain't no fun. Jam in ninety four five in Boston would go ahead and play the "I'm in love with a stripper," but uh, but uh, other radio stations like WJYY one hundred five point five in Concord, for example, they always played the "I'm in love with a dancer" because uh, you know. There, are you kidding? There really is an alternate version. Oh yeah, no, I'm, just, no, uh, I'm completely serious. Me? No, no, I'm totally serious. Yeah. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. It loses something in the translation. Well, I I suppose it does. Yes, I yes. love that song. Do you, do you really? Well, maybe I'll play it at the maybe I'll play it today at the break. Jeez, oh, no. <laughs> no, you can't play the one the stripper because uh, I'm going to play the dancer one just to be, uh, you know. Uh, well, that's but no that, fun. but then again, yeah. I mean, really, what is the point, right? I mean, but I, I do think that that version is more respectful. It's so hard to know. Respectful. Well, yes, dancer you, is a more respectful term. Oh come on, when did you become uh, a PC? Well, now you. you what? The uh, Mrs. Uh, you know, uh, putting the thumb screws on you? No. Now, let me remind you of something, sir. Uh, what do I always say uh, when people ask Off me? Air? No, no, no. When, when people ask me, you know, like every once in a while, someone will ask me, Matt, what is your objective? What is your goal with your show? What are you trying to accomplish? Ego, and, and what uh, do I always stroking, tell them? Stroking your ego. No. I, I always tell them. Making my, two T Yetis respectable. My goal with this program, I have a singular goal. My goal, my objective with this program is to come in here every day and spend two hours from 4 to 6 p.m. Not get fired? Not getting fired, yes. <laughs> there you that go. is my goal. <laughs> there and, you uh, go. And if I stood. And if I make it to 6 p.m. and I have not received a text message or an email saying uh, that uh, something has gone awry and that uh, we need to talk. has happened in the which past. Which has happened in the past. With me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Banned for two weeks. That's right. You did receive a two-week suspension once. And by the way, that's we don't say that to be funny. That's 100% no, true. Oh, it's true. I, it is know. true. Yes, that really happened. That was the first suspension, I think. Well, but, you know, uh, someone had to... Uh, others are just dropped was, by the wayside. I was about to use a phrase that uh, maybe we shouldn't use, but... Right, uh, so don't use it. Um, be... Right, because again, my objective is to get to 6 p.m. And, and if I get to 6 p.m. and nothing has gone awry and I, I still have a show, then... Uh, then uh, mission accomplished. It's a it's a job well done on my part. I can pat myself on the back. Which, or six to seven if things you know break that way. Huh? If you do a five to seven a gig. Well, I, yeah, I did do that uh, one day this oh, week. Yeah. Yes, yes. But uh, yeah, things had uh, gone awry. But that had nothing to do with anything that we were just talking about. But hey, everybody in uh, IPM Nation and Maddie Nation wants to know: Are you going to be here on Memorial Day? I don't know. Um, I texted. That is an open question at the moment because I texted Peter White earlier and I said to him, I assume because Memorial Day is one of the big ones as far as as far as holidays. So I I texted him and I said, I assume that uh, we're totally closed Memorial Day. I mean, obviously the station is still on the air. It's just no live shows if we're closed. I, I said, I assume we're completely closed Memorial Day and I won't be able to do my show. Peter. And, um, and he, well, he texted me back yeah. and said he's going to check. But Peter's, uh, he, uh, oh, he doesn't do the Memorial Day broadcast. He, he, because they got the parade this year. Right. I believe, I believe he takes Memorial Day off, but I think that's right. one of the days <laughs> that, Excuse that, me. that everybody, uh, takes off here. Oh, they don't feel, uh, I wonder if uh, somebody must film it. But, uh, um, they do Thanksgiving and there was a Christmas parade, right? You know, I don't celebrate Christmas because it's a pagan holiday. Right. Well, last yeah. year was all weird. Saturday everything was Monday. weird too because of the pandemic. So that threw everything off. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. They uh, broadcast that. But I don't think they had a St. Patrick's Day parade this year because of the pandemic. Do you enjoy parades? I don't enjoy them. 
I never I did have. when I was a boy. I, even when I was a kid, I didn't like them. I, I, I found them very boring just standing there watching stuff go by. I mean, I'm not knocking it. If, if people like it, that's great. I just, I could never get into it. Or watching them on television. How do people even do that? I, I'm baffled by that. How does someone sit and watch a parade on television and just watch floats go by and a bunch of people talking about, oh, look at this float. Oh, and look at this. Oh, look, these people are waving. I don't understand it. It does not appeal to me at all. I actually marched in a parade in Texas. Oh. Behind horses. Oh. It's amazing how, you know, marching, they call it cadence, mm-hmm. is how your feet just train themselves almost immediately to march and step over the, the manure. Yes. And it's frequent behind horses, you know? They really. I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, the uh, episode of Steinfeld, <laughs> uh, you know, that the one that Joe Elba wrote about the farting uh, horse. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, no, I believe that. I believe that. And it was in Texas where everybody loves veterans, where I was coming from the Northeast where you couldn't even tell, if you told somebody you're in the Army or the military, oh my God, it's like uh, nowadays, you know, you've, you've, you've joined the Trump Republican Party. Oh, well, yikes. I mean, if you are... You know, because mm-hmm. we are talking about the Northeast. They were very liberal back then. I got out of the Army, and, and my ex-girlfriend, I went to see her, she says, don't tell anybody you were in the military. But you know what? In California, nobody gives a damn about anything out there. <laughs> or at least they did. You know. Well, you know, there's issues like, you know, well, you know, rutabaga, mental health, you know. Because, uh-huh. you know, they actually do feel pain, vegetables. That's well known. Oh, I don't want to even know well, about root, that. The, That's the, terrible. The, the ravaging of root crops. You know, when's it all going to stop? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, mm. it also sounds terribly inappropriate, frankly. Oh, and how? Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. My God, the Castro, which you know already we're dealing with communism. Yes. North of Monterey, California. Why they were the <laughs> artichoke capital of uh, the world. And can you imagine the the the? Oh my God. Every season, all these artichokes, involuntarily, I might add, sacrificing their lives. For what? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like Ben Dion's dad, uh, I'm sure he likes artichokes. He probably puts them in a pizza or something. Probably. He likes Brussels sprouts, which, oh oh my God. Wow, yeah. I don't even like the word artichoke. It sounds so violent. It, it does, doesn't mm-hmm. it? It's shameful. Yeah. I mean, you know, I always had to avert my eyes driving up to San Francisco, yes. seeing those thrashing machines. Oh, no doubt. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Tomatoes, though. You know, tomatoes are kind of saucy, so and they go and, you know, who cares? Right, right. right. Who cares? Besides, they all got wiped out because they started importing them from Mexico. You know, whenever I... Uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> whenever I get a sub at Subway, I always ask for extra tomatoes, and they usually ob- oblige. Uh, but I, I kiss up a little bit. I say, I'm very careful with my phrasing. I'll say, if you can throw a couple extra tomatoes on there, you'll be my hero. Ooh. And uh, and that usually gets them to do it. They'll there usually, we go. They'll usually oblige. Uh, well, as long as we're talking about food, we should mention, of course, uh, we are proudly sponsored by the Hop Knot. Which we <laughs> should be over there broadcasting from there. Well, but that's, it's not open right now. That's coming. Yeah, it is. It? Yeah, it is. Why it's are Wednesday. we there then? We we are going to be doing a live remote. I don't know the date yet, but Can we're, we drink beer. We're, we're working on that. I don't know how that works legally. They, I I mean, I'm not a drinker anyway, really, so it doesn't matter in my case. Well, you know, you, I'm unclear though as far as drinking while on the air. I don't know. Uh, who I don't has to know. I don't know if you can. You just divert the camera as right. we sip our suds. They have some great beers Mm. over there. Oh, absolutely there are. Yes, they have craft beer. They also have wine. Uh, And, of course, the delicious gourmet pretzels. Uh, Oh, I don't drink wine because of the sacrifices made by the grapes. Oh, yes. Well, that's very forward-thinking of you. That's You know what? That's very... Unless they're red. You know, I'll drink a claret or claret, what they call it. Sure, sure. You know, claret is, you know, what do they call it? Cabernet Sauvignon. Do they? Yeah. You know, you know red it, wine. Red, yeah. you know. Well, it's good, oh, for, good for the heart. No, it's just like, you know, how I oppose uh, executing people, except for a few exceptions. Well, it's know, very wine, progressive. You know, very you know. progressive well, of you. only to a point. You mm-hmm. know, no, only to a well, point. Just, just like with my champion. You don't want to progress root, too root far. Crops. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and of course, uh, t- uh, tomorrow, Thursday, they have uh, Bill Sini. Uh, the uh, trivia maven, if I may use that term. When are we putting the team together? Oh, Jenny's Juggernauts should be returning soon. 
Not this week, but uh, uh, Jenny's Juggernauts should be returning soon, I think. Mm. Mm. Or perhaps the team will have a new name. That's really up to Jenny. After all, uh, we are her Juggernauts. <clears throat> but uh, so, uh, yeah, trivia night every uh, Thursday night there. Uh, Friday nights is Grant Lampton performing live. He's doing a residency there, performing every uh, Friday night. I did see him in the Facebook live chat as residency. well. Residency? Yeah. Physician? Yes. Physician. So, yeah, so if, uh, say you're, uh, say for example, you're in the middle of uh, eating a delicious pretzel and you start choking because you have a piece of pretzel caught in your throat. He gives you the hind lick maneuver? I don't think it's quite called that. Well, I that, thought it, it was that's down a, at the that that's bar a, around the no, corner. That, that, the way you said it, that sounds like something we discuss on the other program, uh, Matt Connerton Unsheathed, which is not carried here on WMNH. No, uh, but... Uh, Yes, he will. Uh, you know, if, if it, it's good to have a actually, this is what has occurred, and I don't know if you know about this, but uh, Governor Sununu uh, signed an executive order that uh, uh, all uh, restaurants must now have a, uh, a physician. No, but they must have a physician on staff in case uh, someone uh, needs the. I believe it's called the Heimlich maneuver. Oh, uh, you know, we want to show deference to Mr. Heimlich for inventing it. So we should call it the right name. No, but uh, they call it a residency when uh, when a musician is performing live uh, on a weekly basis somewhere. Is that the guy who found out about the inner structure of women and uh, the pleasure of them? Or is that somebody else? Like uh, Hind- 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 von Hinden. Grant Lampton? Uh no, I thought you were talking about a doctor. Oh, right. Oh, Graffenberg. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's uh, very hot in the 80s. Well, yes, yeah. it's very hot today. It's in the 90s. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so Grant performs there Friday night. Uh, Sundays, they have brunch at the Hop Knot. And uh, Juneteenth, uh, you can still sign up to be a business partner uh, in uh, Juneteenth. Uh, they have things uh, planned for that entire weekend. You know, they tried to do uh, something for Juneteenth last year, and they did. But well, it was, they, it was it the was first a, year this city recognized it as a holiday. That's true. Mayor that's Joyce true. Craig. Yeah, yes, yes, that is true. Also, too, because of the pandemic, they couldn't do as much right. as they wanted. But uh, this year, you know, they've got a whole the whole weekend planned out, and it's going to be a very big deal. So, uh, so we're very honored and proud to have them as a sponsor. And for those of you watching online, you can see uh, this is actually Jenny's, uh, but she uh, let me wear it today. She hasn't uh, worn it yet. A brand new hop knot shirt with the uh, uh, here. I'll show the the back of it for people watching online. Well, no, actually, that's really not going to work, is it? A- anyway, but uh, you can see the front. But uh, the chair has a back, and it's, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, a wonderful sponsor, and uh, we appreciate them so very much. Also, too, I see Mike Pelopita in the Facebook live chat from another one of our wonderful sponsors here at WMNH, Queen City Cabinetry in the historic Sunbeam Mall. Uh, John, I know uh, you, of course, know more about history than anybody I know, and, you know, we were uh, discussing on the show. Uh, I wish you had been here for that, actually. We were talking about why. The uh, Sunbeam Sunbeam Mall is is, uh, so historic. And we were talking, of course, about General Sunbeam, who won the war. And uh, if it weren't for him, I mean, we'd all be speaking Venusian right now, probably. So we uh, don't talk about that. He's the greatest general since sliced bread, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. The greatest military mind. They still have the Space Force. They just busted somebody out of it. Oh, no. Yeah. Somebody's been uh, removed from the Space Force already. I'm excited about that. And I have to say, uh, while I am certainly not pro-war, uh, the idea of intergalactic uh, combat is uh, kind of titillating. Okay, here's a trivia question. Yes. The U.S. Air Force is to the Space Force as the U.S. Navy is to blank. Say that again. Oh, that's easy. You know, because I know, you know, this is a drive-by show. People's IQs have dropped considerably since the morning show. You know, what? We, we're not even able to talk about the Brady Bunch because nobody even remembers. After a hard day at the orifice, I mean, you're, you know, you drop 70 IQ points. If we can still talk about that without, you know, somebody uh, becoming violent. Can we have that uh, 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 question again? Here it is. Okay. The U.S. Air Force is <laughs> to... The U.S. Space Force, as the U.S. Navy is to blank. The Coast Yard? <laughs> oh, Matt, it, it, this is for your audience. And no. Oh, oh. 
So keep your butt, your mouth shut about oh, this oh, one. Oh my goodness, you're this very, one thing. You're very aggressive about your well, uh, I'm trivia. Trying to market the show. I understand. But, I used uh, to be a trivia king when everything was about the Beatles oh. and uh, you know baseball, which is you know falling out of favor in the entire United States. Has it? Oh yeah, it's like the fourth uh, sport now. Is it really? Right there is the, fo- the NFL is number football, one. I assume American right? football, yes. known as football down south. Oh, and uh, they, that's they the pro- American religion. They don't pronounce their T's. No. Oh, no. Well, no they're O's. It's football or the T, right? It's oh, football. right, right, right. Football. And wow. uh, weird, very, right. very strange. We're talking about places like Texas, Louisiana. You know, yeah. football. Oh, it's, a, yeah. it's a civic religion there. It's a religion for the entire United States. Some close families. Basketball mm. and wrestling. Mm. You know, baseball is just wow, dropping, dropping. Like you know, should we no longer call like, it America's uh, pastime? Kevin Spacey is it? Or, was it wrong to Kevin Spacey's back? He's in a new movie. Well, by, directed by Franco Nero. That oh. has been. Should we no longer refer to baseball as America's pastime? Then, Uh you're probably correct. Should we start a uh, what's the what is it? Uh, greed, what? greed is America's pastime. Greed, yeah, greed. I would say it's more yeah. than America's pastime. I would Pond. say it's a, it's a way of life. Pyramid scheme. Greed is good, according to Gordon Gecko. Yes, I was so. just talking to somebody that knew uh, Mike Milken. Oh no, but, kidding! Uh, wow, yeah, I've you actually heard. know this person. I haven't heard that Say, even a long oh, time. Oh, how how wonderful! Oh wow, he's such a great guy. <laughs> He, you know, he has done some good after prison. He really has yeah. foundation and stuff. Yeah, but uh, mm, yeah, junk bonds. Uh huh. Well, that was more rational than what we have now, cryptocurrency. But let's not go down that. Uh, oh, perhaps because, we'll hear today from uh, Bitcoin Gandhi. I get triggered, you know, because we never did get the Bitcoin off the ground, and now yeah. we we would own our own studio. And how, huh? I, I still don't understand the... Uh, I mean, what is the point to Bitcoin? Uh, I mean, what is the point to cryptocurrency unless you're just trying to hide the money from the government? Well, that's the point. That's the point mm-hmm. that Gandhi is wants to sacrifice his life for. Bitcoin and Gandhi. And it's uh, uh, Alan Greenspan said has no utility unless it is to facilitate uh, illegal transactions. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he says, well, I guess that's a utility. And I guess it is. See, that's what scares me away from it. You know, I know a lot of people who are into it, and I don't knock anyone for being into it but i just personally i i look i'll just say it i'm i'm i don't mean to sound vain but i think i'm too pretty for prison so in fact uh i well there's ways to cope well i'm sure there are but you know i i wake up every day this is this is true i wake up every day and the first thing i say to jenny is wow can you believe it another day not in prison and then she says something like yeah that's pretty amazing uh in your case and then i say what? What do you mean by that? And then she says, oh, nothing. And I say, w- w- was I talking in my sleep about something? And she said, no, no, I was just kidding. And then I say, wait a minute, though. You sound like you know something. And she says, no, it was a joke. Don't worry about it. And uh, it, it's and then it just kind of goes on for another 25 minutes. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm a big fan of not being in prison. So well, I avoid you know, cryptocurrency. With a childhood or pupdom of yours as a Yeti and partly in a kennel, yeah, that's very understandable. Maybe that's what she means. Yeah, you probably woof and move your legs at night. Well, that's very offensive and well, racist. you're processing. Well, species. Mm, yeah. Yetis are species, I, not a race. Well, I... I they good are... Well, they never did... They, they can't take on a greyhound or even your... Uh, uh, you know, let alone a cheater or something. So, well, we, you know, well, race. God, nothing's you, as they, fast All they do is cheetah. stop. When they when they tried that up in Portland, Maine, with the Yeti race, you and Sassy Shame, geez, you know, stopping and piddling everywhere, that was a pretty boring race. You know, yeah, it's better watching just, the horses uh, and the sulky. Do they do that anymore? I, that racing I, where they have the little thing at the on the. Where's, where's Mike Darrow when you need him? You know, I, I sometimes I think that your only reason for uh, existing, frankly, is to hurt my feelings. Well, we got to toughen like, toughen you up. Like that's why a prison. That's why God put you on this earth is to hurt me. They, you know, uh, there were no depilatories in prison, man. Well, like, again, I'm too pretty for prison. So, well, can you imagine you know, me in prison when, with this lovely hopknot shirt? I wouldn't last a day. What about when all the hair grows back? Mm. What about a full moon? Yeah. See, that's not even. I mean, that's a myth. That 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 is whole it? thing. Yeah. 
really is. It's very, very hurtful. Very hurtful. And the two T's are do it on the, the new moon? You're going to get the Yeti Anti-Defamation League after you again. You keep this up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep, yep. Well, nobody cares about stuff like that. We just edit well, I'd like show. to. I'd like to think that's the case. Yeah. Oh, right. Nobody cares. Right. So if we just uh, pretend there's no discrimination against Yetis, then it's not real. Is that it? Yeah. yeah basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll just yeah. pretend there's no problem, and then. Uh, you Do know, I talk about being we'll descended just... from an alien? Uh, no, actually, you don't. Jeez, you know, <laughs> now uh, that you mention it. Gonzo, uh, Gonzo and a, a few other people, practically the only people that know. Is it my <laughs> fault that, you know, my father was out late? Uh, he had to go back to Manchester one night when the family was at Hampton Beach. And my mother met, mm, you know, that traveler from uh, Ganymede who promised her silk stockings and a ride in a, <laughs> the spaceship. Mm. Yeah. You know, you don't hear me B I T C H about that, do you? I have to admit that's true. I've never heard you. Uh... Right. So, you know, wow. well, yeah. I guess since my mother is an American uh-huh. and human, mm. that makes me an American and human. I, you know, well, I do have a passport. Yes. Well, yeah. uh, legally by birth, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's, that's, that's great. I well, often wonder if Pa is going to come back. Who? Pa. Oh, I thought you said Paul. I thought Not you were referring pa, to Paul like, We called my father oh. dad, you uh-huh. know, in the Eng- Anglo-Irish tradition. Uh-huh. Pa, it's like a, looks like a P, it's kind of like a pie symbol. Oh. And this like, it looks like a horseshoe with an umlaut over it. Pa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds terrifying. Mm. Uh, yeah, it is when it is, you know, that's why I stay away from hallucinogens. <laughs> right. Yes. I don't want to open the door to Pa. <laughs> That's that's right. I think that's good advice uh, for all of us. Yeah. Uh, just say no and don't open the door to Pa. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, if you'd like to join the discussion today, you can give us a call, 603-250-6007, 603 uh, You can also text me at 617-917-4476. Tweet me at Matt Connerton or send an email to matt at mattconnerton.com. And, of course, you can always interact and opine in the Facebook Live live chat uh but the best thing to do is give us a call so we can hear and enjoy your dulcet tones at 603-250-6007 by the way you mentioned gonzo he was supposed to be joining us but i don't uh haven't seen him maybe pause picked him up oh but i would like to know you know we reach a good audience if you have a parent or grandparent that comes from either another planet or another uh, dimension, Uh give us a call. Yes. Oh, I'd love to. uh... I mean, this is more common than people think. I mean, where it's time for us to come out of whatever psychic closet that, you know, we're in. Well, let me ask you this. I don't think we've discussed this on the show, or actually maybe we have briefly, but um, there's a lot of uh, talk. Uh, Senator Marco Rubio of uh, Florida, little Marco, as uh, our former president liked to call him, uh, has come right out and said that there are unidentified flying objects uh, oh, that yeah. hover over our military bases. Yeah, of course. Uh, I believe in June, uh, the Pentagon is supposed to release some sort of report. Uh, what do you think? Do you have any thoughts on this? Paul uh, looked like a <laughs> kangaroo. Well, maybe. Uh, so to, has, has Pa shared any uh, information with you on this? Oh, that's a secret. Does Pa have a pouch? You said Pa... I said he like, resembled a kangaroo. Oh, okay. Right. He, I, I, my mother gave birth to me, not Pa. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I don't even know if he can. Oh, give I, birth. I hope I didn't. I didn't mean to touch a nerve there with that. Right. It was. Uh, it was your mother. It was not Pa. You didn't come out of Pa's pouch. Why would aliens come to this Earth in a spaceship? I mean, they're just here. You know, you don't have to come in a spaceship. Oh, you think they're already but among us? If they do take you on a spaceship, you know, it's just using their incredible powers to seduce, you know, credulous uh, women or men, as it might be, or you know, whatever. Uh, you know, because, you know, we're talking about the 50s, 1950, 1959, you know. Everybody was barrel-assing around in a, in a, in a big piece of GM iron with a drop top. You know, that was part of life. Oh, wait, are you saying those American, are actually spaceships? American oh. Graffiti. You know, where were you in 62? One of my favorite movies. Well, I wasn't, because of that. I wasn't born. I'm just saying, oh. you know, when in Rome, 
do what the Romans do. So if you're here, you know, uh, farting around from Ganymede or Io, wherever the hell you're hailing, where you hang your hat, so to speak. Did you say Ganymede or Iowa? Io. Oh, oh, It's Io. a moon of, oh. uh, I think, Jupiter. Or oh, Saturn. right, of course. Yes, it is. I it, try not to think about this type of stuff. because it's Right, right, yeah. But, you know, you're here. You, if you can whip up a galactic, you know, Cadillac or something and take the gal around, farting around, I mean, it's so much easier to get into her pants, uh, so to speak. So, you know, you do what you have to do. I mean, yeah. So UFOs. Why would they have to be here in UFOs? Right. They're not here in UFOs. So you they're, think they're here in cars? Well, they're in your uh, DNA. And oh. that's why I took the Johnson & Johnson shot. Because oh. I didn't want to take one of those RNA, uh, you know, uh, shots like uh, Moderna or, or uh, what's the other one? The uh, Zyrtec. No, that's what I take for uh, <laughs> Zyrtec. And, you know, uh, AstraZeneca. Uh, uh, I, 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 it could be, you know, something. God knows. Pa would prefer the uh, Johnson & Johnson. Is that what you're... Uh, well, no, no, I'm not saying him, though. No, as no. a human being no. with alien DNA, which many of us have, I yes. hear. And, yeah. Uh, one of the ways... If you have an extra coccyx, you know... Oh, I don't know if we know. can say that on the radio. People think it's like a vestigial tail or something. Oh, uh-huh. Far from that. Mm. It's part of the way you communicate. Oh. You know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Sure. You know, I'm going to tell you something that most people don't know. Well, this is... Uh, wow. Okay. Is this, Are you okay to tell us this? Is this, well, or is this it's, classified? It's about human being okay. oh. and human evolution. Sure. You know, it's similar to the horse. But if you ever were, you know, a certain type of guy or boy if we can talk that way nowadays uh do you ever notice that when you're <laughs> behind a woman and looking at a part of her anatomy she will inevitably turn around right that's because she has a radar there mm-hmm. oh yeah sort of horses which we won't get into that right it's a whole nother show but, right yes uh, except for dogs they uh are closely more are you, close, co-evolved with us are you saying that horses are actually aliens no, far from. Maybe from the, the planet Equus? Yeah, yeah, they've been manipulated. Oh, I but, see. But, you know, one of the reasons that... Uh, well, because that's the second time today you've brought up horses. That's why I wondered. Uh, oh, I have things to hide, uh, you know, uh-huh. as we all do. Oh, yes. But, well, if you uh, only knew. That's why, you know, ancient peoples and their wisdom, who are much closer to the events... When it was very raw, what was happening? Uh-huh. You know, when the aliens just came down and, so to speak, took to wife, uh-huh. you, you, what we'd call human women, yes, and uh, or whatever, you know. But I, you know, who, who knows? They could do anything, it's like God Himself. But they seem to play by certain perverse rules, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. well, male female binary. Yeah, which, you know, we're yeah, it's getting trashed. Yeah, but well, they why- know why they didn't eat pork. Has nothing to do with trichinosis or this or that. No pork it's, for Pa? It's because, well, Pa was in uh, an intelligent gas. I see. You know, well, he yeah, was, I, Right, I mean, that's obvious. I don't know. I don't, he wasn't some carbon-based. He could take on that form. I guess when he uh, first presented himself as a kangaroo, you know, it mm-hmm. didn't go over too well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, you know, they, they're they incredibly adaptive. Well, if he wanted to, he could hide pork in the pouch, right? Well, pork... They used to take the hybrid fetuses, mm-hmm. feed eye or whatever. And people, you people, uh, 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 talking about Roe and V. Wade, you got to remember this. Mm. <laughs> they would, because a, uh, a a pig, what is the Latin term for pig? Because pig's such an ugly word in a way. You know? I, I don't know like what the pig. Latin word for pig would be. In yeah. the army, we had the uh, term foxtrot papa, which we won't go in. Uh-huh, but, uh, uh-huh. A pig, but it's like a pigus or something. Or, oh. No, it's got to be some porcus. Uh, oh, pork. Porcus, right? Porcus is, is Latin for pig? It has to be, right? Uh, well, I, yeah, I suppose it would. Doesn't porcelain come from the word pig? Does it? Porcelain? Well, there's a porcelain club in, at Harvard. Oh, and they're pigs? Well, they celebrate the pigs because there is the connection where, because the pig's insides, like a female, a sow's womb is so analogous to the human. They used to take the hybrid fetuses when they're zipping around with them because then, you know, I guess they were putting them in some type of primitive spaceship, you know, just to show the colors. Like, you know, people, 
you know, oh, I love it. One of the things I miss about LA is the funny cars and everything. Everybody out there, you know, with a car that jumps up and down and you can fold it uh, up like a Murphy bed, stuff like that. Oh, that's a, that's probably alien technology. No, that's, uh, you know, some Mexican kid, you know, pouring his heart and soul into his 64 Chevy Impala, you know, oh, oh. and I, lo I love it. And, uh, I, I leap to conclusions uh, but sometimes. You know, when you're in a great set of wheels, that's why, you know, instead of you bought, you know, you bought your sexy car or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, to, you're it saying is. something. It is sexy. So, I drive a Nissan Versa, I'll have you know. You know, that's a prescription against pork when mm -hmm. it's, you know, hauling around the fetuses that were your mother or father, you know. Yeah. You just naturally... I don't want to go there. Right, right. Myself, I do eat pork. Right, yes, yes. And ham. Uh, Melanie in the chat says, uh, Ted Cruz is the Latin word for pig. Uh, that seems like <laughs> or uh, pork. Uh, two words, actually. Uh, but, uh, you know, I can't uh, I can't be sure of that. I'm these, coming uh, out as an alien, which you recognized last week. Or, or oh, so. wow. 